All right, up against Mona. Big Fighter Brawl. One of your opponents is huge and has more health. We're up against teams. It's Mona, two Shield Knights, and a Black Knight. And they're all against me. Oh, but we're on the moving one? That might be... I don't know if that's going to be good or, or bad for me. How am I... How are they not dead? Okay. Then you go. The secret was to get trapped in the corner with them. All right, we're up against Shovel Knight. No surprises there. It's time your daydreams ended. Submit to the power of the Enchantress. Polar Knight, you know where to... You know where being a blind follower gets you? It goes against everything we learned. <sighs> learned a lot since then. And you're saying between me and my way out, move. But I said move. All right. How? <laughs> hey, you want, what are you gonna do? Oh. He actually used tactics. They made Shovel Knight so much better when I'm when I'm Polar Knight. Like normally he is not this good. As I'm edge guarding. I mean, it's, I'm still Polar Knight in a fight. <laughs> this is not the part that scares me, this part coming up. This, this particular part is the one that I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to get through. Because I'm so big. Yeah, that was gonna happen. spamming that quickly. I'm not sure how I'm going to get through this. God, it's six to six. Yep, like... And of course it got that one. Like there's only so much I can do here because I am slow. I didn't even see that you spawned because I'm too big. Yeah, this is, this is not a good run. I need to go again. Just the way that this is designed is this is gonna be the hard part. If I can make it through this, then then I can do it, but how do I avoid getting hit? How do I get mobile? How do I how do I do a lot of things? Uh, it's almost better for me to get hit than to let 
the gem go over there. I, ca I can't avoid it. How did you hit me first? I was, I was stationed ready for you. I'm too big for this. I can't, if I'm in the air, I can't, I can't do it. Yep, you're gonna get both of those. Ugh. All right. That one's lost too. All right, 11 to eight, huh? No! I can't do all of this. I can't do all that I need to do. I can't fight and get the gems and because he's too slow. Like I knew this was going to be the hard part. I was just wondering if I could get through it. Fighting with Polar Knight is the, is the easiest. He's, he's clearly the best that I've used so far. Like immediately onto one of the gems. And now that blows up. Oh, that doesn't uh, grab that? I thought it did. Yep. And I can't, I can't avoid certain things. Like, there's a bomb, I am screwed. Too fat for this. How did I miss that? Oh, of course, I get hit, but I don't get the gem. That's how this works. This is like the worst run that I've done so far. There's... Yeah, Tinker Knight is just kicking my ass. Of all the enemies, Tinker Knight. I can only do so much. Like, I, I do have an ability to, to move quickly, but it involves... But it involves charging, and I'm not good at that. What? I can't... Just get down there! Suddenly I can't even move with him! Yeah, just grab all of them. Yeah, that's fine. And then I get hit for three damage? And then he grabs it anyway. I need this. Okay, four to four. I can't avoid these and and get the gems. Of course, of course you just grab those. And then, yeah, because, wow! There was nowhere for me to go there. Let's be honest, by this point I need to have won in order to actually do this properly. Like, yeah. And then they keep on spying Tinker Knight, which is apparently the counter to, to Polar Knight. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to make it through this. Like, it was so easy until I got here.
So let's be real, there's only two levels in the game that scare me, and this is one of them. Grab that. Okay, at least you're going away. Damn it! Like, there's there's a little thing that I can do, but it's so hard to get into it. Okay. Eight. Fourteen, come on. Give me one. Fifteen, we made it through. Jeez. I'm fairly confident I can make it through this second part. But I don't know how to get, like, up there. I'm so fat. Stop it. All right. I, I don't think I can bounce. That's not really... Like, there was... There were only so many spots I could stand there. Just hit them. All right, we made it through. Pretty easily, like I thought. did it we finished story mode with polar knight like i thought it's uh, pretty easy he's the best fighter that i've used so far he's a little slow but that's all right because he's got a hell of a range and he can spam attack pretty quickly um you can also use the ability to fall on you from the sky which is always nice um the snowball could be good in certain situations but um i'd much rather shovel all right so even on uh even on medium difficulty, we, we made it through. It was just the one level that gave me the problems, uh, which is the Mirror of Fate, as you can clearly see. Nothing else, I died more than twice. So I died 28 times, killed 36 enemies, uh, played for about 18 minutes. So yeah, the game um, is showing once again that it's not particularly balanced in certain ways. Polar Knight is clearly the best fighter that I've used to this point. Uh, even better than Spectre Knight. Spectre Knight might not have died as much when I used him, but that's because he's very mobile and Polar Knight is not. So those are my two favorites so far. Propeller Knight's a, a relatively close third. Polar Knight knew he had to trade harder than ever and lost no time getting started. Like the spin wolves at his side, he respected his role, no matter how demanding it was. I never even used that. He'd run into Shovel Knight again, and next time he'd make him join. If not, it would be their final battle. So why weren't the spin wolves at his side later on? All right, we got a new stage, Stranded Ship Grinding Glaciers. Not my favorite to be honest, but uh, we don't unlock any new character, so we're gonna keep going. 